DFID Tech Tools event. Um, we have a jam-packed day um, for you all, and we also hope um, you all, you know, have just come to engage and learn. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to quickly um, run through the agenda. We're going to have a few remarks um, from DFID, also from um, Mr. Zakari Lawal, um, representing the Ministry of Budget and Planning. Um, then after these remarks, we're going to um, go into an explanation of the day and the sessions. So as we're getting started, um, can we please have Oliver Blake? Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, morning, everyone. It's very nice to be here and to see so many people come along to this event. So I'm delighted to welcome you all here. So it's very exciting to, to have all these um, presentations which we're going to have later on. Um, and I think the purpose of this event is about showcasing what's being done and learning from each other. Um, and I think it's really important that we recognize the creativity and the innovation um, in Nigeria um, on this particular topic of accountability. I think the presentations that we've got today demonstrate, I think, the extraordinary creativity of, of all of you here in seeking to tackle one of the biggest problems that we face, and that is the lack of accountability in the use of public funds. So I think what we're going to see is a, is a, a number of presentations of using technology that not only collect data, analyze it, but very importantly also share it in a way people can understand. So this is not just about transparency. You know we do a lot supporting the Open Government Partnership and that transparency agenda is very important. But it's also about getting people engaged. Once people are engaged, their views can be expressed and then those in positions of authority have no excuse not to listen and take action. So this work is very much an important part of bringing in accountability um, fighting corruption and ensuring resources are used to benefit the people, um, not just lining the pockets of those in power. So one of the reasons to hold this event today in particular is because of the visit of our Deputy Chief Economist, Dr. Stefan Dirkhoff. So Stefan, welcome, welcome to you. <laughs> Stefan's going to be unable, unfortunately, to stay for the whole event, um, but he's going to say a few words in a minute. So I hope we can showcase Nigeria's use of technology to improve accountability and the staff can take some ideas away back to our headquarters and say, share the learning um, beyond Nigeria. So before wrapping up, let me take the opportunity to thank everybody who's coming along to present, all those who've come along to learn. And let me say, I think learning is something which we have to do however old, however senior we are. Learning is something which we must always do. The world is changing, and if we don't keep learning, we will soon be hopelessly out of date. So learning is something I think we must all do, all of us, and something we have to continue to do, whatever position we're in. So I'm very pleased that, again, we're able to support this learning event. So let me conclude, again, by thanking the organizers, um, Pearl and Foster, and the team who've been involved in setting this up. And it was done at short notice. So thank you very much for all the effort put into this. Um, and we look forward to, uh, indeed, a very interesting um, and successful event. So again, thank you very much, and um, wishing everybody well and a very successful day.